What does a railroad mean to you? The food you eat, the clothes you wear, the lumber that goes into your home, the furniture that makes it livable, the appliances you use there, coal for the electricity that makes them work, even the car you drive. They all travel by train. Perhaps you do too. If you do, we'd have to admit that you're in a minority today, although an important one to us. Look at it this way. For every single passenger car that might be rolling on Southern Railway's lines this minute, there are hundreds of freight cars in operation. Less than one half of 1% of our operating revenue comes from passenger traffic. your signboard that anymore when we walk underneath, we're apt to forget the sign is even there. In fact, it's just human nature, I guess, that when we see and do the same things day in and day out, some of us tend to overlook certain facts. Like realizing, for instance, that a shipper has a choice in deciding which mode of transportation he will use for the movement of his freight. Increased traffic flow on Southern requires the latest technology in CTC train dispatching to effectively move trains and provide maximum on-track time to productive maintenance gangs with the least possible interruption to normal traffic flow. An efficient and productive timbering and surfacing program is essential in providing a strong and stable track for today's increased traffic and axle loads. The TNS program requires advanced detailed planning and scheduling with production closely monitored on a daily basis. Planning for timbering and surfacing program begins with the division engineer and track supervisor making a joint on-ground track inspection. Thorough knowledge of Proper lubrication, reducing friction and wear, and acting as a coolant is vital to the operation of the diesel engine. Without a protective film of oil between the metal surfaces, friction would result in excessive temperatures and the seizure of moving parts. In a diesel engine of the common type illustrated by this diagram, lubricating oil is forced under pressure into this oil header or manifold. From here, individual leads. Power. America is rich in natural resources. But we would be poor without the means of moving the products of our mines, fields, and forests. This, through railroad transportation, we have been able to do for over a century. Wrote one reporter, the hammering home of the Golden Spike in Utah Territory now gives us a road to the Indies. Back east that day, they even rang the Liberty Bell. Knitting town with town, market with market, the railroad brought prosperity to America. Profiles of American cities in this age of science and technology reflect the ingenuity and lively spirit of the almost 200 million people who are citizens of the world's most productive nation. Today they look forward to an era of unprecedented change. They know that in a free competitive world, they must move with the times and plan far ahead of the times. Adapting themselves to the demands of tomorrow through the use of every technological and scientific development.
the American future, our national purpose requires that we have an efficient, low-cost system of transportation. This means that our railroads, which have been part of our past, must also be part of our future. As always, the story of railroad progress will be written by a dynamic industry whose emblem is the flanged wheel. The whole railroad industry is bankrupt and technologically outmoded, right? Wrong. Some railroads, mainly in the Northeast, went bankrupt and had to be rescued by the federal government. But what you may not know is that nine out of ten of the largest U.S. railroads are alive and well. They're profitable and pay dividends to their stockholders. And technologically, railroads are often in the forefront of transportation progress, not behind. Southern Railway's new classification yard at Sheffield, Alabama, is an example of one company's ability not only to keep abreast of the space age, but to serve as a transportation pace setter. Southern Sheffield Yard is completely computerized. 